Hi everyone, it's Bordrick here, and in today's episode, I'll be talking about the Grand Theft Auto 5 PC release and whether you should consider buying it or not. So, let's get on to the commentary. Basically, I have never played Grand Theft Auto 5 before playing this PC release, and I ended up uh, finally coming to a conclusion that it is one of the best games that I've ever played. I definitely don't regret buying it. Uh, keep in mind my hardware is sort of decent. I've got a 780 Ti and 3570K i5 CPU so that easily runs the game at 60 frames per second plus at very high settings in most instant instances and is a very enjoyable experience. So let's get on to the good things about this Grand Theft Auto. You've probably all heard about the storyline and all the reviews that it gets which are very high. Obviously I enjoyed the storyline. It's one of the best Grand Theft Autos I've ever played. I wouldn't say it's the best because some of the older ones are still pretty classic, but nonetheless, it was a very good experience with immersive graphics on the PC. The world is pretty awesome. It reminds me of San Andreas because obviously it's in the same state as San Andreas. Uh, it's also got some really cool PC unique features such as 4K support and obviously all the other graphics features that come with that. And also, you can hopefully mod it in the future, so that's going to be another draw to the PC version. Another thing is the editing tools for PC that you get. Uh, basically, you can record uh, without any capture device and you can edit your video and then publish it to YouTube in an in-game editor. This is very appealing as you can create some pretty awesome uh, montages of some of the epic experiences you have on this game. Uh, so, I'll get on to something that you might want to consider before buying this game. Uh, on release, a lot of people, including myself, had a few issues with crashing. Uh, usually, the fix was to take off a lot of overclocks that you've got on your system that may run well on other games and when you're not doing anything, and that's what I had to do. I had to turn off my graphics card overclock, and it didn't really crash anymore, but many other people had other instances where the crashing just was ruining their experience, but look into uh, some other videos explaining some of the crashes and what can cause it before buying this game in case it affects you, depending on your hardware. Anyway, I'd like to uh, talk about Another good thing about this game before I end the video, if you're on PC and you've never played this game, I really highly recommend you get it because I haven't really had a better gaming experience for ages. It definitely tops some of the best games I've played ever. So, I really recommend this game if you are on the PC. If you've played it on the 360 or, I guess, PS3, then I still would get this game because the graphics are going to be that much better. But if you've played it on the Xbox One or PS4, I wouldn't say you necessarily need to get it because I've seen some gameplay on YouTube. I know it's not the same as actually playing it and it looks pretty decent. You're not going to get too much of a graphics jump from that. Uh, if you look into the nitty gritty stuff, obviously the PC version is going to be superior in graphics in every single way and frame rate. So if you're into getting the best Grand Theft Auto 5 experience and you've played on any of the consoles that I've mentioned, the PC is definitely, a lot of people are saying, is the definitive version and is worth purchasing if you want the top end graphics experience. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you have a nice day and I definitely recommend this game for PC. Tell me what you think in the comments below. See ya.